Well, I'm hearing more Christians say that the signs point to the fact that we're in the last days and, and, and this Japanese earthquake was one of the biggest signs of all. I heard one Christian even say it was Jesus shaking the earth. If so, caused the death of a lot of innocent people. The last I heard was 10,000 in just one area, one state. Estimated up from 30,000 to 100,000 possibly dead. But when Jesus spoke of earthquakes in diverse or various places in Matthew 24, 7, you have to ask, did these things happen? Did significant earthquakes happen near the time of the end of the first century? Well, of course they did. Jesus said they would. Christians today want to say, well, it didn't happen yet. It's happening now. Jesus said it would happen within his generation. In the writings of first century historian Tacitus, we read a description of the condition in, in the year 51 in Rome. This year witnessed many signs, including repeated earthquakes. Josephus, another historian, accounts that the earthquake in Judea was such a magnitude that the constitution of the universe was confounded for the destruction of men. He also wrote, that earthquakes were common and uh, a common calamity and indicated that God himself had brought them about for a special purpose. This is someone writing within that generation Jesus warned of earthquakes. Then, then you got the records in the book of Acts, a great earthquake that shook the foundation of the prison house in Acts 16.26. There were earthquakes in Crete, Smyrna, Miletus, Chalos, Samos, Laodicea, Heropolis, Colossus, Campania, Rome, and Judea. Paul stated that he had started churches at Colossus and, and Heropolis. And uh, these two cities, along with Laodicea, uh, suffered great earthquakes around the year 61. Still within that time frame, Jesus prophesied about it, or predicted. Laodicea was, was rebuilt soon after the earthquake, but Colossus and Heropolis weren't. Now, the earthquake in Heropolis uh, was so destructive that the emperor, in order to relieve the distress of the inhabitants, remitted its tribute for five years, or quit taxing them for five years. Both of these earthquakes in Colossus and Heropolis were recorded by Tacitus. There was one also in the same reign in Crete. This is mentioned by uh, Philostratus, Philostratus in the life of Apollonus, who says that there were earth, other earthquakes in Smyrna, Miletus, Chaos, and Samos, in all which places Jews had settled. In the reign of Nero, there was an earthquake in Laodicea. It's also mentioned by the historian Eusebius and Horatius, who add that Heropolis and Colossus, as well as Laodicea, were overthrown by an earthquake. There was also one in Campania in the reign, in this same reign of of this both Tacitus and uh, Seneca speak and another at Rome in the reign of, reign of Galba recorded by uh, Suetonius. Uh, All these things happened and then on one dreadful night when the Edomians were excluded from Jerusalem a short time before the siege of Rome I mean, uh, the siege of Jerusalem by Rome, 
A heavy storm, says Josephus, burst on them during the night. Violent, violent winds arose, accompanied with the most excessive rains, with constant lightnings, most tremendous thunderings, and with dreadful roarings of earthquakes. It seemed content, uh, uh, as if the system of the world had been confounded for the destruction of mankind, and one might well conjecture that these were signs of no common events. All this occurred in Jesus' contemporaries. So when Christians get on here and say, this earthquake and, and other things that are happening are what the Bible speaks of, it proves they don't study. These things happened within the time frame Jesus said they would. All you people are doing is, is putting...